Alrighty, YouTube, how the fuck are you all doing today? I'm doing great, thanks for fucking asking. So today I'm bringing you guys a Call of Duty tier list on every single Call of Duty in the series. So I thought about this idea just a couple of couple of minutes ago actually i realized that i've done a zombies tier list video and i haven't actually done a call of duty series uh tier list but we're gonna go along i've finally found a complete template of all the call of duties because i couldn't find an actual in date one they're all out of date stuff uh, probably like the last one i saw was like from um black ops 4 no no it was what year above that yeah i couldn't find the the latest one cold war but this one's finally got cold war and so so we should be all right so at the moment you see like black of zombies and uh, Call of Duty World of War Zombies but I'm going to separate them into like that's own its own game so Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies will be a part of Black Ops and I'll just leave Black Ops Zombies because I'm just going to you know go along and tell them what I really think of the whole game because it's not just zombies what I'm talking about it's going to be campaign multiplayer and zombies all combined and then it's going to be like the overall game we, you know what I mean so I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to pick one which is going to be right here so, okay, okay, that's, that's going to be Call of Duty World of War Zombies, so um, that's going to be World of War. World of War, so literally, this was the very first game I actually started playing, Call of Duty, and it was Zombies, and um, very, very nostalgic, but there's, like, the weird thing about this is, I don't really remember much from it, but I'm, I don't, I don't actually really know what I'm going to probably put it in. Maybe A, maybe, maybe A. Oh, S is above here, I might actually move my, my uh, camera. Yeah, so I reckon a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I reckon I'm just going to put it in A category. I know a lot of people would maybe put it in S, but this game's like either a hit or miss, like really. I think either people would hate it or they really love it. But I think it's it's a good category at bringing out the zombies and a good, like a good introduction to zombies, you know, like you had to finish the campaign to get zombies. And I can't really remember much of the campaign. Got to be honest here, because I was pretty young at the time. I would have been like nine years old, around when it first came out, and um, I didn't play much multiplayer. But zombies, zombies was the main thing. And when I did play multiplayer, it wasn't really much. But now, if I go back to World of War, it's just full of hackers. But it's just a sort of. I'm gonna put that for like not sort of nostalgic sort of a feeling for it. But it's gonna be an A category. World War Two. Um, I'm sorry. That's going to be in the D category. I didn't, I didn't have much fun playing that game, and uh, I put it. I think I put about two days into it. Maybe I didn't enjoy it much. Like literally, I think Call of Duty World of War the original was a lot more better than World War Two. I know. Apparent. I don't know if the. I never played the campaign on this. I only played the multiplayer and the zombies. You guys sort of. If you can tell me what you guys would think anyway, if you would put World of War there or. Any, 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 all of these Call of Duties, tell me where you would put them. And, um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, it's a D category. Campaign, apparently, was pretty bad, what I've heard. That's what led me towards not playing it. So, but Zombies, I'm pretty sure, like, the only thing what I had to go in is the, the final, the final rack or something, the, the very first map. And, um, other than all of the Zombies after that were pretty shit. And I didn't enjoy it. But the first, the first introduction map on Zombies was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Multiplayer was yeah. All right, Black Ops, Black Ops, Black Ops. All right, ah, uh, that's that's an S category right there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's fucking that's banger campaign, banger multiplayer, and banger zombies all, like literally couldn't get any better than that. And um, campaign, very fun, very fun. I I I'm, I, I finished it. Let's just say I finished it, but I don't re remember that much. I just remember banger missions on it, and it was really cool. And uh, had a sort of like, um, wasn't it going towards, not, it wasn't like a world war, it was, what was it, fucking Vietnam or something, I can't really remember. But um, yeah, good campaign, multiplayer was pretty fun as well. I, as again, I was pretty young at the time as well, and I was going towards more zombies back, like going into there. And uh, yeah, zombies was really fun. All the maps on that were pretty fucking cool, and Easter eggs got introduced, and yeah, all fucking fun. A lot of glitches and all that, I remember. I was a glitcher back in the day, so yeah. Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, yeah, so I reckon Call of Duty Ghost is just above World of War 2. If there was like a higher D category, it would be in that. Just above, I wouldn't put it in C, but it would still kept, be kept in the D category. Um, a lot of people, apparently they didn't like the campaign. I remember the campaign was pretty fucking cool. And, but the sort of bad thing was that there was no sequel to it at the end. 
I can't really remember much about it. I just remember it was fucking being a banger campaign. And other than that, like nothing, no, uh, nothing happened after Ghost. That's when I made what Infinite Warfare. I'm pretty sure after Ghost, that was the next Infinity Ward game. Other than that, multiplayer was fucking. I didn't enjoy it. Extinction was fucking terrible. And yeah, that's why it's in a day category. Call of Duty, what the fuck's this one? Call of Duty, I, man, I, I'm just gonna leave this one. Like, I'm gonna put this in the F category because I didn't play this. Actually, I might add all of them what I haven't played. So I haven't played that finest hour. I haven't played all of these ones. All right, so so forgive me about this. I would have been way too young to even know what those Call of Duties were. So well, Call of Duty Heroes, I haven't played that. Call of Duty Strike Town, pretty sure it's on the piece. Uh, the is that on phone Strike Team? I don't even know. I haven't played that though, and I have. That's World of War Zombies. I played that. You know, I'm gonna keep Call of Duty Mobile in there though. So the next one's going to be. Hold on, add that there. Uh, don't know what that is. So next one, I'm gonna put Advanced Warfare. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna put it in A. I enjoyed this game. This was either a hit or miss for people. People either love it or they really hate it. I enjoyed playing it. Just because at the time I was just got a PS4, and this was basically like the, the probably like the first COD where I actually got into multiplayer and all that, other than MW3, which I'll put that in a second. Advanced Warfare, I had a banger of a time. I think a lot of people just don't like it because it was a change in the fucking Call of Duty history. I remember when it first came out, people were loving it, and then they just drifted away and then said, fuck. Fuck this shit, I want to go back to the old god. I think that's just more like the blind by nostalgia and they want the old roots back. Advanced Warfare, I had good fun. Play on my friends, playing Search and Destroy. Multiplayer, I had a good time. And people would say either this was like a pay to win game, which I can sort of agree to that extent. But then that's when Advanced Warfare, they bring out that other, t uh, what was it, 10 prestiges. And each prestige, you got like a uh, guaranteed one of those like advanced supply drops. What will give you guaranteed gun, which was like, I remember the first prestige, you get like the the bow obsidian steed. What, what was the what was the strongest one? Was it was it called the obsidian steed or something? You get the strongest gun given to you. So I don't know why people would sort of complain about that when eventually it's guaranteed to give it to you. I was having a blast using that. I had like the Morse fucking. I had every Morse variant. The sniping was really clean on the game. I, can't, I, I would I'd have to give more points for that as well. So zombies, I didn't actually enjoy that much. And campaign was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed the campaign. That was pretty fun as well. And it was probably like the best going towards the future campaign, if you know what I mean. Better than Black Ops 3. I know that, that campaign was terrible as well. I'll get in, more into that. But that's why I'm putting an A just because I'm just I had a blast playing the multiplayer with my friends and I put I think like I put the most days on multiplayer in Call of Duty history what I've had but um yeah other than that tonight Warfare um they'll put that in a D category I think I put literally two hours in the multiplayer on that and I didn't have any fun at all and Infinite Warfare Zombies I know that was pretty fun I remember playing like Zombies in Spaceland that was banger of a map. I wish they sort of bring out more like a theme park. That was fun. I remember that. Um, I played Raven and Redwoods. I didn't play. I don't think I. I don't think I played the other maps though. Multiplayer. I didn't play anything. I didn't play the campaign. It was just sort of zombies. But that's why it's actually. I might put it in C. It's gonna be in C. No, no, no. I'll keep it in D. I'll keep it in D because that's. I've only played two zombies maps on it, but I did enjoy it. But then again, I just sold Infinite Warfare after that, and that's. Yeah, it did. It was fucking. Leave it behind, don't play it again. Black Ops 4. Uh, I want to put that in the C category. Um, I didn't play much of this either. I didn't, there was no campaign on this, if I believe. I think this is the first, because they bring Blackout, Multiplayer, and Zombies, and they just left the campaign out. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this doesn't got campaign. But yeah, I did. Um, I played a bit of, I played a fair bit of multiplayer as well. I know the competitive side on this was fucking banging, really good. Movement was really clean and quick, and it was nice. Zombies was fucking nah, not chronological. Like it was fucking shit. I, I honestly like the zombies on this was pretty terrible, and I didn't really enjoy it that much. That's why it's going in C. 
And other than that, yeah. Black Ops 2. Oh, God. They, they're going to hate me for this as well. It's going to go on A. Compared to Advanced Warfare. I would put it in S. Just because I said campaign, multiplayer, and zombies was fucking awesome on Black Ops 1. Black Ops 2 had an awesome campaign. Multiplayer was fucking... That was the peak of it. That was fucking awesome. Zombies was pretty cool, but it did... That's what I mean with zombies. I it had its... It had its down and its ups. Like, it had... Some decent maps and fucking shit maps like Transit and Die Rise. Bad maps. And then Mob of the Dead came out, which fucking popped it back up. And then Origins as well. So that's what I mean. That's why I was sort of... Eh. Eh. That's why it's in the A category. Call of Duty Classic. I haven't played that. Black Ops 3. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm going to I'm gonna get more hate for this. I'm putting it in the S category. Just because... It had a very fun multiplayer. I enjoyed the multiplayer. Put a lot of time into that as well. I played a lot with my friends. I ended up actually resetting my stats after a long time. Zombies was that's the best out of all Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. Don't fucking question me. I know I'm right. Black Ops 3 had the best zombies. You can't even compare to Black Ops 1 or 2. Because they remastered all the, the fucking best maps onto BO3. The BO3 engine was the best, like literally. BO3 shits all over all all the zombies. You, you can't you can't change my mind now. I'm sorry, but you can't change my mind. Multiplayer was fun, yeah. Campaign was fucking shit. I had no idea what was going on. I remember playing. I'm like, I remember getting into a part with the campaign. I'm just like, what what am I actually playing right now? I don't, I don't even know what the fuck is going on right now. But yeah, I'm believing that in S category just because zombies is banging and multiplayer is really good as well. But yeah. So, Call of Duty 2, I have not played that. I'm leaving that in the F, I'm sorry. Haven't played COD 3. MW3. That's where it's peaking at, man. That's where it's peaking. A. Hey, I'm sorry, but it's fucking awesome there. MW3, I remember my uncle got that for me for Christmas back in 2011. I was a Christmas noob. Yes, I was a Christmas noob. And I was fucking... I hopped on it. I played so many days of multiplayer into it. That's where... I sort of got into multiplayer and drifted away from zombies for a bit. Just because this this was the first game where it didn't have zombies after Treyarch. So, wait, this was their first Infinity Ward? I don't really remember. Yeah, but campaign was really fun. I remember that. Multiplayer was very fun. And it had Infected and the beginning of Spec Ops or so. No, no, that was an MW2. Had Spec Ops. I didn't really enjoy that much. I'd rather zombies has more... More stuff to do in zombies spec ops is just more like a survival bear to the bones just fucking keep alive etc i did play that a fair bit with my friend no spec ops but i remember just jamming infected on private matches and me and my friends always try to get a private match and just start it up and try and get moabs and everything but i never could get it but it was the most funnest thing MW3 multiplayer, that's why it's in number A. Call of Duty Mobile, I have not played that. Call of Duty 1, is that? I haven't played that. <clears throat> Modern Warfare. Uh, I haven't played much of this either. I don't, I'd like, don't, I would hate myself because I don't really, I've played a bit of it, not not enough to actual sort of vote to where to put it though, that's the thing. Like, I don't, <laughs> don't know where to put it. Like, I was, I didn't even play this at all until like years and years later, so I wasn't actually in its prime. I'm just going to sort of skip out on that because I don't want to actually get a lot of hate. Even Modern Warfare 2, I didn't play much either. But I'm going to put that in... I'm going to put that in A as well. I didn't play... Like, the campaign was fun. I remember uh, No Russia. The... Yeah, you, everyone knows what No Russia is. Campaign was fun and that's when I sort of drifted away towards World of War. More into, like, modern sort of realistic war. And sort of going towards the futuristic, but not, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not back in the fucking 40s. But, um, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 was cool. Multiplayer was fun, very clean, and very easy, I remember that. Um, a lot of noob tubing was sort of pissed people off, and the sniping was really clean. Intervention had really good maps on it as well, high-rise. Same goes with, like, uh, all the other maps as well, what I've put in. I forgot to say the maps, but, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 had some cool maps on there. Um, other than that, yeah, that's why it's going in A. They had the Spec Ops as well. If Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't really remember. 
But yeah, that's why it's going there. That's why it's going there. Modern Warfare. I'm going to put that in B. Um, I'll put a bit of time into this, but... Very clunky gameplay. Um, I played, I think, halfway through the campaign, and then I stopped, I believe. Multiplayer was pretty fun, and I'm pretty sure I had Spec Ops as well. But I didn't have, you know, like a lot of time where I would actually stay up late and just play jam out the game. It was just sort of whenever the friends would hop on. But Modern Warfare did have uh, Warzone, which was pretty fun as well. But I'll still keep it in the B category. Did have the Warzone Battle Royale, and that was fucking pretty fun. That's what I usually sort of played after when this game sort of dimmed off a bit, and then Warzone came along, and I did stop playing this, and I played a shitload of Warzone. Coming down to the last game, which is Cold War. Um, I'm going to be honest, that's probably a C. Uh, didn't play the campaign. Uh, if there is a camp, there is a campaign. Multiplayer it got fucking boring, really. No, actually, it's B. I'm gonna. Hey, <laughs> so, so multiplayer got pretty boring. Zombies was pretty. It was pretty good as well. Like I had the good engine. Very easy. Zombies like health got capped out at 40, if I believe. I can't really remember. I haven't played zombies on Cold War for ages. But this is my list right now. But uh, yeah, this is my whole list. Um. I'm just looking over to see if I made any mistakes, but obviously I I think it looks all right. Yeah, this is it. Uh, if you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to comment and subscribe. It's been it. Peace.